All right, here we go. We're going to pick up with episode three. My game, at the very end of the last video, decided that my internet was going to get spotty and the game paused. So we're ready to go again. We're in the process of working on um, the bison and pronghorn antelope habitat. So I was playing with the water. Got all their enrichment items. Let me throw in. <coughs> Excuse me. Get my donation bin set up. My habitat board is going. Set one of these up. Shrink it down. Yeah, shrink it down. We'll toss one of those down. One of those down. For each end. Ta-da! So I have one for... Oops. January, March, April, May... I'll do May. Every other month since I have enough... Peoples. Educators, that's the word. Alright, let's get the pronghorn antelopes. Because those are the ones that count for the game. So I have one male. A couple of young-ish females. Send them to the zoo. I'm gonna flip this around. And one bite. Whoops. Mm. One male by son. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait a minute. Because it keeps messing up. For some reason it does that when they pull the animals out of the habitat. So we'll give it a second. Focus the pronghorn antelope since that's the angel food bed. I might move that. Okay, let's see how they're looking. Plenty of space. I need more soil. Easy to fix. Grassland, desert, taiga, and temperate. Each tree. That's sucker for huge. Cedar in here too, it should be. Nope. Oh, there's not cedar. Oh, there's not cedar.
Okay, let's bring in the bison now. Scared me. The neighbor's walking up. Trying me. Um, one male. Maybe those two females. Got my kitchen blinds open, which I don't normally have open, so I see people walk up, it sort of me. Whee! Oh, let me see. We'll do poaching for this one because the bison get poached. Or they used to get poached. <clears throat> I'm not sure I have anything on bison. Oh, I do. I have a bison charge. Ha! Here we go. Nope, that one's gotta be. Okay. <coughs> we got plenty of space. Everything's good. Too many trees, but that's okay. Now we can make that bison. We'll make that bison. We'll make that bison. Spread it to about there. And I know I have things on bisons. That's not the right one. Bison packs. There we go. And then over here, we'll make this one the pronghorn antelope. I like to make it as close as I can without overlapping. And even then, it'll sometimes tell me it's overlapping. I'm not sure I have anything for the pronghorn. <clears throat> Earth's first rocks. That's a good educational topic. Even though I don't have any rocks in here. There's a really cool bison thing that I'm going to add here. And a pronghorn sign, actually. Pronghorn. Do that one first. Dang, almost scrolled right down to the piece. Right there. Oh, whoops, nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I thought I had something else that said pronghorn. It wasn't that. That's an entire, like, habitat. <laughs> I could do that though. Uh, see, I'm right up to 42k! And I'm not even doing that much. Okay, now let's do the bison. Let's go all the way back up. I don't quite that far. This is a downside of having way too many. Things. There's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. This is a really cool like, bison statue thing. There we go. 
You'll hit the yellow bench. Some of the noise they make looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go into nature so we can decorate this. Hazel trim. Trim. Shut that down. As you can see, I've gone very slowly, just adding pieces here and there. Not gone overboard with decorating. I'm at 43k and rising, and I have not gone into the negative once. And I have bugs that I can still sell. So I think that's pretty good on how to start a community challenge, though, to be honest. I mean, I'm almost at the point where I could pretty much scrap all of this and just rebuild it. Sell them all. I got desperate for money. I would have almost a 55k. So that would put me up to 50k if I sold all those animals right now. And that actually reminds me. Let's. Over here, duh. Just lower that down a little bit. Thirst is really hard to keep green. Oh. 
I guess we could put another counter right there. Let's do another thirst counter. Drink counter. Thirst counter. Drink counter. Let's see. Energy, milkshake, soda, juice, smoothie, water. I haven't done a juice counter in a while. Let's do a juice counter. Nobody's hungry. Need to fill these in. Okay, let me check my list again. See where we're at. So. Got the bison again. Got the pronghorn again. Got the bongo, bongo again. So I'm gonna put the nala and the nile leash, leash, whatever. I'm gonna put them together. I'm gonna put together with the zebras because they're a popular zoo animal. Okapai can probably go by itself because it's a uh, South American animal, it's the only South American animal listed here. But we have the springbok, we have the gazelle, we have the horn, ox, we have the bonago, we have the gym's rock, we have the bison, we have the pronghorn. So a small amount of space. I have all, almost all the animals. I am just missing one, two, three, four of them. Actually, let me look something else up because I think I missed one. I might have missed one, I'm not positive. Is that an antelope? Is that considered an antelope? Call that one. I don't know if it is, but we're gonna add it just for kicks. I haven't added the ibex in a while, but it has to be by itself as well because it's a cold weather animal. So we'll add the ibex. 
And then if we do the Okapon, I'm not even sure, I'm probably not saying that right. <coughs> oh, they're Africa? I don't know why I was thinking they were South America. I'm thinking they're South America all this time, they're Africa. Huh. Okay. So I could actually put them... Instead of the zebras, I could put the Okapon. With the sable antelope. And then we have... Everything has two or three, except for the ibex. That'll still have to be by itself. Alrighty then. Yep, so we still need the Nala, the Nala Leash, Sable Antelope, the Okapai, and the Ibex. Actually. I'm letting the game run for a minute, but I'm gonna... ...do some quick research. Okay, come on. I Animal. So the Ibex is a wild goat. <laughs> See, part of the envelope. I have an antelope. They are related to antelopes, buffalo, bison, cattle, goats, and sheep. Okay. It's not exactly an antelope, but we'll throw them in anyway. They're more of a goat. But we'll throw them in anyway. Alright, so I've worked out my plan for the next four animals. And then we'll be good to go. So I still need the Nala, the Leash, Nile Leash, the Sable Antelope, the Okapai, and the Ibex. So that's two, four, five more animals. And I can put the Nala and the Leash, Leash Nile together, and the Sable Antelope and the Okapai together. What's going on? Oh, underpriced, so we can raise the tickets again. Raise them to 15. So I'm up to 54, and I haven't even done anything. I've just been letting the game run. Oh, look, I got everything green for now. It won't last, but it's good to know everything's green. Let's do one last check, and then we'll call this episode done. Oh, let's bring in. Oops. Sacred beetle female. And then we can send that one to the marketplace. And then we see her bread again. The only downside is once these guys start breeding, they just, they breed like crazy, and then it's really hard to keep up with them. So, once again, 
I'm now up to 29 animals and 6,600. If I were to sell them right now. Okay, it's actually overview prime. Actually, this is pretty good. I'm at zero, year nine. I've had one vandalized object and two pickpock victims. I have one in the zoo right now. One chase, one caught, two last year. <coughs> so I'm actually doing pretty good. Probably put up a juice sign, huh? Let people know it's there. It's kind of hidden. Okay, juice. There we go. People know the juice is there. So the guests are saying overall, still feels small, umbrella, the blue, information center is busy, the zoo is very spacious, counter is busy. We need the loot. I should like bouncing several bathrooms up. We need to drop some bathrooms over here. Let's all do it. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there. This will be a shorter episode than the other two. Next time, I think we'll start working on decorating these, covering them up. And then maybe adding a couple more habitats. Let me pull these out real quick. Extend this path out. I was just thinking I might take a path and send it this way, down the middle, so we can start hitting back here. Anyway, there we go. You take it easy, it's not real hard to, when you stay pretty basic, it's not real hard to build franchise zoo from the ground up. You just have to remember to take it easy and not get too carried away with buying and decorating. Save all that for later. Like now with nearly 60k and the money climbing up really quickly. Now I can start really decorating and building and taking things off the workshop. Things like that. I could really just take all this out and redo the whole thing. So anyway, here's a good good start to the Community Challenge Zoo, which starts next week. 
And it's what? Wednesday? What day is it? Wednesday. Okay, I thought it was Wednesday. Um, gotta go back to work. I'm losing track of my days. I'll fill in these gaps with foliage. <coughs> Maybe put some walk work here. I did that in my previous day. I put some walk work like right along here. And then I put up some conservation boards that talked about rocks. Um, so that's my plans. Because now that I have money, I can start redoing this. Start fixing these. Covering these up. Covering up the bathrooms. Maybe even at another restaurant. There's actually a cool one on the... A couple of them on the... Um, workshop. That are like buffalo. Oriented. And that's really cool. I'll probably put one of those. Maybe here. Fill in this space. Anyway. I can't think what else to say, so we'll stop there, and we'll pick up later on. Take care, everybody.